Hey everyone and welcome back. As you can see from the league table, we were crowned champions. We won all 44 league games in the season. Absolutely incredible feat. The only game that we lost was the FA Cup third round against Everton. But if you guys do enjoy today's content, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell. It's all completely free and it massively helps the channel. In the next couple of days, I will be dropping a video. We will be discussing all the tactics that I used through the season. And hopefully there'll be some good tips in there for you to have a good save as well. But in today's episode, it is the end of season review. We will be going through the aspects of the season, so let's get stuck into it. Let's have a look at the new arrivals i feel like one of the main reasons that we've done so well this season was the arrivals let's start with one of the players of the season we did sign dion mcgee on loan he did come in from swansea he had 40 appearances five from the subs bench he got an incredible 12 goals and 21 assists and he had an average rate of 7.59 absolutely incredible season for him board are obviously very happy getting a b minus the next player we brought in who was a free transfer was garmston he had 34 appearances two goals nine assists and he had 7.38 average rating kelleher joined the club before i actually got there he was at the club when we first started the save but he did have 42 appearances. Five were from the subs bench. He had three goals, three assists, and he had an average rating of 7.33. We also managed to grab Stefan O'Connor. He was a free transfer from Newcastle. He had 42 appearances, two goals, zero assists, but he had an average rating of 7.33 as well. Another great signing for us was Mitch Rose. He came in completely free as well. He had 34 appearances, five from the subs bench. He managed to get eight goals, five assists, and 7.23 average rating. We did have multiple other players that did do incredible. Let's just have a look at some of the main ones. So we had James Horsfield, came in from Scunthorpe, played 44 games, had 13 goals, 3 assists and a 7.12 average rating. One of the successes this season was Matt Green. We did get him in from Grimsby for 4,000. And for him being 34 years old, he had an incredible season. He had 31 appearances, 10 from the subs bench. And he managed to accumulate a massive 16 goals and 10 assists with an average rating of 7.12. A couple of other incredible players was Bo Du, 39 games, 4 subs appearance. He had 5 goals and 6 assists. We also had Reggie Lamb who came in free from Cambridge. He had 30 games, 13 goals and 7 assists. We also had young Isaac Drogba. He did have 16 starts. He had 29 off the bench. And he got 10 goals and 2 assists for us. So I feel like the players that were brought in added amazing quality. And they were all contributing in goals and assists for the season. We didn't have too many transfers out. There was only 4. They were all rated by the board as low. So it wasn't too much of an issue with them leaving. And for loans out, there wasn't anything really of note. But let's have a look at the season results. So starting with the Vanarama National League. We were expected to get playoffs. We managed managed to come first absolutely incredible season we won every single game for the league managed to accumulate 132 points our average home attendance was 5425 it was 35% of our full capacity and the competition top goal scorer was Matt Green with 12 goals in the FA Cup we were expected to reach the first round we managed to get to the third round we were knocked out by Everett and it was fully expected considering their Premier League club but we did have the competition goal scorers with two goals each was Davies and Green and in the FA Trophy we were expected to reach the semi-finals we actually won the competition top goal scorer for the competition was Reggie Lamb with three goals now let's have a look at the moments to remember so our biggest one was 6-1 against Gateshead it was in January it was a very good result for us the match to remember was against Wimbledon in the FA Cup Wimbledon were in League 1 so it was an incredible result for us and the goal of the season was from Harris it was in the FA trophy against Notts County and let's have a quick look at the finances so there's not really much to show you here we don't have anything comparable from last season but looking at sponsorship we made almost 26,000 broadcast revenue almost 20,000 corporate and hospitality was 230,000 competition prize money was 164,000 and match day and commercial retail was 602,000 our total merchandise was close to 71,000 and we sold 1,266 shirts and let's look at how we lined up so the best level was mainly the team we played the whole season I'd say the only other exception was Harris was switch we both do for a lot of the games but our formation was a 4-2-3-1 wide we did play a custom vertical tiki taka i will put out a video in a couple of days about what tactics we actually used and a run through them all and let's have a look at the accolades so for managers of the month i did win every single one for the year we did have a 100 percent win rate but the fans player of the season was dion mcgee the young player of the season was also dion mcgee absolutely incredible season from him signing the season was stefan o'connor from newcastle goal of the season was jay harris top goal scorer was matt green and most assists was Dion McGee. And that's going to history in the making. So we did manage to complete the double this season. Absolutely incredible season. Hopefully we can do well in League 2. Who knows what's going to happen. But I hope you guys can make it. Make sure you stick around. We will have the tactics video soon. What's going to happen now is I'm going to go off to preseason. I'm going to go and get the guys ready for the next season. Make sure we can make some good signings. Make some good additions to the squad. But guys, thank you for watching season 1. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support. Once again, thank you for watching us become champions. Stay safe out there. Appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you next time.